Hi, I'm Nina Arndt, and I'm the dramaturg for King of the Yees. Imagine just for a moment that it's 1848, and you are a man in rural China. Drought and famine have ravaged your land, and you are on the lookout for something better. You hear about a faraway place where people are pulling gold out of the ground. It's called California, though it's not yet a state. With little to lose, you pack up and leave, hoping to strike it rich and return home to China. By the time you get there, though, the pickings are slim. You only have a little pan, and other, richer people are developing better tools to find gold faster. You can't pay for your passage home, so you stay in California. This was a typical Chinese immigrant story in the mid-19th century, and it was these immigrants, mostly young males, who came to live in San Francisco's Chinatown, the nation's first major Chinese community. It is in this community that Lauren Yi's new play, King of the Yi's, takes place. It shows us a varied Chinatown, equal parts a center of cultural preservation and celebration, a tourist trap, and a place rife with crime. In part to serve as a counter to all this crime, the Yi Feng Toy or Yi Family Association was founded. Like other family associations, this group was for men whose last name was Yi to come together and honor their common ancestor while also helping their communities and planning festivals and celebrations that preserve Chinese culture. In the play, one of the characters belongs to the Yi Family Association, which still exists all these years later. In 1906, the San Francisco earthquake and ensuing fire destroyed Chinatown. Although devastating, the chaos in the aftermath of the earthquake proved beneficial for some Chinese. Because so many birth records were lost, Chinese residents could claim to be natives and therefore had a right to citizenship. Chinatown was rebuilt, but the architectural style was carefully chosen to appeal to white tourists. This faux Chinese style was designed by white architects and served to revamp the image of Chinatown and of Chinese Americans. The aim was for them to be seen as happy, submissive, and a bit mysterious, rather than dirty and duplicitous. To a large degree, this strategy worked. Chinatown is still, today, a major tourist attraction, but what exactly it represents, authentic Chinese culture or a strange hybrid of American and Chinese culture, is up for debate. It walks a fine line between promoting tourism, which helps sustain it economically, and promoting community and sustaining cultural traditions. And as new generations grow up in America and become increasingly Americanized, they begin to question what, exactly, does Chinatown represent? What is it preserving? Lauren Yee's play, King of the Yees, tackles these questions and many others. Please come see King of the Yees during our New Stages Festival. For more information, log on to goodmantheater.org.